and now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll get him for a loss. This is a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws a strike over the middle. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Fires a bullet out to the right. And he's immediately tackled. I think this offense right now has a ton of confidence because their offense seems to be in sync. Anytime you can run the football and mix in play action pass, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And right now, well, you can almost feel this offense's confidence growing as we saw in that last play. First and 10, ball on the 37 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. goes for 31 yard line that'll bring up third and four he's got it with room to run he's taken down around the 10 yard line that's a From the 10 yard line, it's first down. Five wide. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And he converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today.
Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. Good protection. Ball is loose. Fumble. The defense scoops it. And he's level at the 46-yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Up the middle for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Texas State is up seven. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the nine-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Bobcats. like he's ready to kick this one off. He's tackled at the 30. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He's on the run. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 48. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. the 48-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 38-yard line. five-yard line. So that scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. From the 35-yard line, first down. He laterals. Tackled for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. And they make the stop right around the 34. Down now, they 
need to get it to the 25. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide out. Hunt awaits the snap. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bobcats are parlaying some of those big plays into the lead here in the first. It's nice to see explosion plays for this offense. They've done a really good job of executing, finding some of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities and taking advantage of it. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's out to the 30. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Got hit and still completed it. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 40. We've played one quarter. Texas State in front, 14-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's hit right away. That makes it second and six. run up the middle. Hill gets about four yards on the play. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Dumps it out left to the running back and he's tackled at about the 45. Try to change the field position with this kick. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He steps out around the 29-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Throws it in a hurry. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. 
And down he goes at the 34. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of down. First and 10. Ball in the 34. He's got the corner. He fights forward to about the 36. That brings up second and nine. his way to about the 48. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. They bring him down in the backfield. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. the ninth play of this drive. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Play of the drive. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on twenty four. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown! Splits the uprights with the extra point. Rice kicked this one off. He 
He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas State is up by a touchdown. Throws a strike over the middle. He's taken down at the 42. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. He's at the 40. Quick after his receiver. And he's taken down at the 36. First and 10. Ball on the 36. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Slings it. And he is drilled at the 25. Five wide. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 17. Gets it out quickly. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the six-yard line. Texas State called their final timeout and smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. Texas State's got a 10-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. All week long when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Big opening! He's at midfield. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Rice! Simply sensational running, and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. Trying to get within a field goal, they'll try to point after. And he misses the extra point. Horn looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. 
Texas State is up by four. On the run. He's into the open field. He makes his way out to about the 35. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Wilson takes it right side. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Yeah, I'm not shocked to see him have a chance to run the football. I remember being out of practice earlier this week, and one thing that became very clear is this wide receiver not only can make great plays in the passing game, but they're going to try to do what they can on reverses and different things to get him the football. And here's an example of what he can do and how explosive he can be. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball. And it was incomplete. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes it to the 37. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From the 39-yard line, second down. Texas State holds a four-point lead. They'll bring him down to the 36-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. They come out on an empty backfield. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. the ground with the tailback. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it seven and six. And this is the tenth play of the drive. He's got an opening. He makes his way out to about the six. It's the 11th play of the drive. the stop at the one yard line that brings him second and goal from the one yard line it's second down throws quickly and it's almost intercepted you don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception this is the 13th play of this drive Texas State is up four. Tackle at the one. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and it's good. for the 
kickoff. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Fires it out. And he's level at the 39. They're about four yards away here on second down. There's a strike complete. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 45. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Fires out to his wideout. The 10. Touchdown, Owls! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Set to kick this one away. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Early in the fourth quarter, who's going to make the play? Which team's going to come out on top? We're in a tie game, and we're about to find out. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Looking for the corner. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. A 
That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Going deep. Missed him. I'll tell you, if he put a little bit more air under that ball, that would have allowed the receiver to run right underneath it and catch it right in stride. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. From their own 16-yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 24. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Wilson fields it at the 37. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. From their own 45-yard line, second down. it out to about the 36. From the 36-yard line, first down. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen, and he is drilled at the 24-yard line. First down. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Tackle made at the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, first down. They give to the tailback. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior.
yard wide. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Inside the 10, touchdown! And he adds the extra point. And we're back ready now for overtime. They come out in a five wide set. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. take another round at least you can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball first down 10 yards to go ball on the 25 yard line he throws it that close to being intercepted two-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. to pick up the first. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown, Rice! So they draw first blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. He splits the uprights with the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. They'll 
knock him down for a loss. From the 26 yard line, third down. Decision making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. From the 14 yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the back. They'll get him for a loss. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 14-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He tackles him for a loss. They come out of an empty backfield. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And a man open touchdown. It appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. This has been one of those games where everything seems to hang in the balance on each play. Whatever the outcome is, we'll remember this one for a long time. the stop at the 14-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. Throws incomplete intended for his wide outs. That makes it second and 10. He's on the run, lost the ball, fumble, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. Third down and six yards to go. Ten yards to the end zone. Clank set off the upright. No good. Oh, boy, does that open a window of opportunity. I think teams get too conservative when they know that they just need a field goal. I'd run a normal offense, and then only if I needed the kicker, I'd bring him out. From the 25-yard line, 
First down. Fires incomplete. it right. Nice pickup. From the 20 yard line. It's third down. Fires out to his receiver. And he's level at the four yard line. and goal from the four looking for Pater. And he almost has the INT. wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Got his receiver. Touchdown. going to do it for this one. Our final score, Rice 40, Texas State 34. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.